Good day and welcome and thank you for joining me today. I'm Rob Wallet and this is your Inner Being channel. When I go out on my adventures, I am grateful that my brother has some land out in northern Canada. I travel up with my brothers and uh, we head out there to have a little bit of fun and get away from the world. And it's a wonderful little spot in the middle of nowhere. Like there's no way. Uh, the zombie apocalypse happens. Nobody's going to find his spot. We all gather uh, for meal times and then we'll kind of all split up and go our own ways. So I end up going further in and I find a nice little spot to build a shelter. And throughout the years, I've built many different shelters. I've built shelters of uh, different styles to kind of see what I like and what I don't like. And every two or three years, I'll change it up and I'll try something new. I'll try a new location completely. I'll go further in or I'll go here and I'll go there. And this year, I'm getting ready to even change my location again with a new setup and so I want to show you what I did last year it's really raining on me now <laughs> I kind of picked an odd time to come out here and enjoy to do this as it is in my adventures the rain might suck but we learn to live with it this is uh, me finding this new location and uh, setting up my new shelter So my shelters consist of just whatever materials that I find in the area, using you know a cord to tie my ends together, make sure it's nice and strong. But then I have layers of different coverages. So my first layer is going to be a bug net because I just can't live without it up here in the north. And then I will set up a second cover over top and it's more of a shade. It's just enough for me to see through it, believe it or not. I can see on the outside, but you can't see in, which is kind of neat. Keeps that cut off between me and whatever is out there. One year I had a coyote come right up to the shelter. That, that border, that shelter, that cloth kind of just was a cool separation between him and I. So then I always bring a tarp and I put that on top and so that it blocks me from, from the rain, which is what I think I should be doing right now, honestly. What are my adventures like? Well, every year I try something different. I made a kitchen and I created this oven, which was so awesome, and which I still go back to and use that every year to make pizza or bread. Oh, I've also, you know, made fire using a bow drill, uh, practicing those kinds of skills making cordage and fun little things to do. So my projects from last year, what did I decide to do? Well, first off, at the beginning of the year, I got my hands on a bow and arrow and I practiced. So I could start shooting and learning how to hunt that way because for me, that was the next evolution in my learning, is to start hunting that way. Because, you know, it's, it's fun to learn the primitive stuff, maybe for survival skills. How do you make tools? How do you cover yourself? How do you make fire? And uh, I also learned leather work and what to do with rawhide and skinning the animal, all kinds of things like that. So I went out to go out this year to see what I can find. There's rabbits in the areas, there's foxes in the areas, there's coyotes, there's wolves, there's bears, there's deer, there's moose. We have it all where I am. Well, I saw a squirrel and uh, he was in range, but I didn't take the shot and I completely regret it. It was that fear of losing your arrow because in the directory that I was shooting, it would have went into the water. Next time, I think it'll be worth taking the shot. So lesson learned here, just take the shot. <laughs> when it comes to meals, 
I usually go and cook with my brothers because we have an enormous fire pit there. It's it's longer than I am in length. I'm six foot and a half. It's, it's, I can sit in the pit myself and you can roast me if you wanted to. How hot is it in there? Bloody hot. Just uh, put some water on the rocks. Oh, yeah. Oh. Nice. That'd be so, like, therapeutic. Wouldn't it? And so we all share the fire pit and we all do some cool cooking. Last year, I decided to make a pulled pork with beans and my gosh that was so delicious good stuff decide whether or not I'm gonna go do some laundry. As I was out for a long time, I really got dirty quite a bit, and I decided to do some laundry. And I wanted to test how to do laundry like they did in the 18th century. What were the secrets to cleaning your clothes? Be able to go from dirty, ragged clothes to stuff that's really clean. And using practically nothing. I had a bar of soap that I had rotten with me. And that's all I use for detergent. All I did was soak my clothes. I rubbed them together really good to get that muck off. And then I used a technique that they used to use back in the day, where they take a club and you club your clothes. You whack that dirt out. What you're doing is, is you're smacking those fibers so that they loosen up and then the, the, the grip of the dirt lets go and, and it escapes. So you end up with clean clothes. A lot of work done today, and a lot of laundry, more than I needed to do, but I've certainly learned to appreciate the kind of work that goes into this. And now I got some clean clothes. You just gotta wait for it to dry. This experience gives you a sense of gratitude for the world that you live in. It shows you the simplicity of what life can actually be, but it also reminds you of how tough it can be. So to cook your meals, you need more time, you need more resources. Uh, how do you get your water? The, the secrets to what you can eat out here 
and to how to take care of yourself and still be healthy without losing deficiencies in your minerals and vitamins and all the things that your body needs. What are you going to do when it rains? You learn to go with the flow with nature. What can you do in the rain to work or play? And what do you do when it's sunny? A rainy day, for example, it can ruin your day. It would. It doesn't ruin my day now. I'm, in fact, I, I, I look forward to it sometimes, even to just chill. Well, it's definitely coming down now. Time for a shower. It's shower time. So after many days, it's time to pack it up and go. And so, you know, the travel back home is long, but it's well worth it to get out and enjoy the world. Enjoy the world and how it really is, right? To get out there and, uh, and, and ex explore what this is all about and find ways to enjoy it because that is my motto to enjoy life. Life is always throwing stuff at you, it's challenging you to enjoy the life, and it does suck at times. So that suck starts to diminish when you start to really become appreciative of certain things. So I think we all know people who can learn to toughen up a little bit, learn to appreciate things a little bit more, to understand why they need to appreciate it, because most people, who live on their devices and live in the world of internet and have no idea what all this is about, let's give them credit. They don't even know what they're missing. They don't even know that they need to appreciate something. They're not living in this kind of world, so they have no idea. So as we make fun of them and say, you know, so-and-so will not survive out in here two minutes, they would die. <laughs> and we make fun of them in this kind of way. Well, let's give them credit for not even knowing that they should appreciate something like this. And as we move forward into the future with cool new technology, uh, which I would want to embrace that as well. So my philosophy is that if you can embrace the way things were in the past and embrace what's to come in the future and mesh those two uh, uh, things together, then you'll be able to create a great future as opposed to what I feel is where the future is going with the cert, with this mentality that people have. I think it's all wrong and I think there's a lot of changes that could be made, should be made, and it's not going to be made until people know that they should change. So that's it. I think I'm getting a little bit rained out and I'm going to end it here. And I hope you enjoyed today's adventures and I hope you subscribe to the channel and, um, you know, Come back and uh, see what we have to offer in the ways of not just outdoor things, but creativity and connection. And so, if you like that, come back, stay tuned, and until next time, enjoy life. Take care, and I wish you well. Say goodbye. Thank you.